What is going on guys? Solid Nate Money. You know, I just made a video and I decided, I was like, gosh, I didn't even talk about the crypto situation going on right now. <laughs> okay. So, over the past few days, there's been a lot of trouble over at FTX. That's a crypto um, brokerage site, you know, kind of like Coinbase, etc. And, uh, I tried to look into the details of this, but it's not really that clear. Basically... Binance owned a lot of the FTX token called FTT. And Sam Bankman Fried was using his customers' funds illegally, is what I'm going to say, to make all these risky bets. He wasn't just using them as a uh, fiduciary. So he was like, in other words, you deposit Bitcoin on there, he was using it to do other things. And so he he basically just fucking went he went he went he went bankrupt. He bankrupted the company. It looked like Binance was going to step in and buy him, but they did not. And so, literally, they literally went bankrupt just today. And Sam Bankman-Fried resigned. So, it's just, it's terrible. He really ought to go to jail, like, big time. He should, he should go to jail. Everyone should get a refund somehow. I don't know who would pay for it. But he, he really needs to be behind bars. Unfor unfortunately, in America, if you take people's money through financial means like this, usually you're just fine. So more than likely, he'll get a little tap on the wrist, he'll have to go to court, he'll talk about it, blah, 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 he'll probably be fine. And it's fucking bullshit. Because he fucked a lot of people over. I didn't have any money on there, luckily, but I know a lot of people that did, and you're screwed, all that money's gone. He used it and lost it. So anyway, FTX is now bankrupt. Uh, Sam Bankman-Fried has resigned from CEO, and like I said, he ought to be in jail, but we'll see what happens. However, with all that stuff, you know, Bitcoin plummeted. It got as low as like 15.5, which was really cool to see. I would have liked to see it get a lot lower, actually. I'm looking forward to the day where we see Bitcoin get to, I don't know, 3,000, 1,000, something like that. Seems like it will never happen, though. No matter what, Bitcoin just wants to go up and up and up forever. So you can't stop it, honestly. Do not doubt me. <laughs> As much as you might want to see it go down, that stupid thing's just going to keep on going up. So after all that news, after after all that mess just basically proven how dangerous the crypto markets are, Bitcoin still is right now about 17.5, like hardly anything happened, you know? So basically that's, that's huge news. You know, FTX is gone. Who else is out there? Well, the big players now are Binance and Coinbase. I wouldn't even trust Coinbase anymore, honestly. I have crypto on there, but I'd like to take it all off. I'd like to take all that stuff off the exchanges. It's all dangerous. Can't trust anybody. Anyway, guys, that's a quick video update. I wanted to mention that. That was a big deal, too, this week. Um, we had a lot of selling, especially on the cryptos. Solana got as low as, like, $13, over, like, 45% down in one day. So, yeah. <sighs> really wild. But anyway... Just want to make that quick update video. FTX is fucked. Uh, BlockFi also has stopped their withdrawals. So, crypto's so dangerous. You know, they always say, not your keys, not your crypto. Very true. You can never trust anybody in the crypto world. You gotta take total control of it yourself. You know, you can't trust Coinbase to keep your stuff. You can't trust anybody to keep your stuff. So that's the big lesson here of the day. Don't trust anybody else. Do not give anybody your crypto. Keep it to yourself, if you're even going to fuck with it. Maybe just don't do that. But I think people that buy crypto will be rewarded. Much as I'd rather not see it, people fucking love Bitcoin. They love Ethereum. They love all that trash. And it's probably going to keep going wild. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Talk to you later.